I shall be discussing this course thermal engineering basic and applied in this MOOCs platform. This course thermal engineering basic and applied. So, the first question is why should you as an engineer study you know thermal engineering basic and applied. So, to answer this question I should say that application of thermodynamics are right where you lives. So, if you look at this slide we can see that an ordinary house is in some respects an exhibition hall filled with wonders of thermodynamics. So, what we can see? We can see that uh, household refrigerator which we use in our daily life, then air conditioner which is used for human health comfort and we frequently use in fact, we cannot live without electronic gadgets nowadays and in all these electronic gadgets cooling is important and again you know that heat interaction is important and the process of you know heat transfer is again in which direction heat will flow that is again governed by thermodynamics. If we move further then you can see that you know an ordinary house again you know solar panels nowadays. So, basically our intention or motor is to get energy from solar intensity, solar irradiation. So, to get that energy to be used in our daily life we need to devise several you know kind of systems again thermodynamics and thermal engineering will play an important role to be sent pressure cooker that we have that we use and finally human body you know that uh, we can see that when you do some work we need to get energy out of that input energy all energy is not utilized to produce work and some part of that energy is getting you know uh, released. So, to do that to analyze that thermodynamic thermodynamics or thermodynamical aspects play important role. Similarly, if we talk about several you know industrial application and several process industries process plant. So, like you know the jet engine then internal combustion engine finally, fuel dragon in all these devices you know that we are trying to get some work output at the cost of some input energy. So, this conversion of energy from heat into work there are several processes to be executed in the system itself. So, to know that system to know to analyze those processes we need to learn thermodynamics and thermal engineering. Similarly, as I was talking about several process plants we can see that power plant is very common example that we know that we have you know uh, heard about it that thermal power plant. So, basically you know we are getting again some kind of energy from one part to another or one form to another form. So, if you need to learn all this you know it is very essential that we should uh, study something and that is the thermal engineering thermodynamics. So, this course thermal engineering basic and applied is designed to provide a review of basic thermodynamics as well as to discuss thermodynamical aspects they are involved with several engineering processes in practical applications we have seen. Uh, in today in today's uh, lecture that there are many you know uh, practical applications where there are several thermodynamic processes. So, this course will provide a you know platform to know all this and the content of this course will certainly focus on several topics of thermodynamics and thermal engineering by connecting their theoretical aspects to practical paradigm. 
including you know analysis design of several systems and of course the operational principle so for this particular course you know prerequisite is the understanding of fluid mechanics heat transfer and also thermodynamics basic thermodynamics though in this course if we look at the course content you can see that review of thermodynamics that particular module is there so we shall try again to you know revise that particular uh, you know chapter and there are many other modules and in these modules we shall be discussing about several components of basic and applied thermal engineering system and this course is suitable for the undergraduate students of different branches of engineering science like mechanical engineering chemical engineering electrical engineering civil engineering and power plant engineering i welcome all the registered students practicing engineers to this course and keeping in mind that there are you know practicing engineers in different industries who are also associated with the operation of several thermal system and devices the module of this course is designed accordingly to you know help the practicing engineer to understand the analysis part i hope you all will enjoy this course thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.